Upon mounting the Veeam backup and replication installation image, AutoRun or the setup file will open a splash screen. At this step you will point the setup wizard to your license file. Without a license file, Community Edition will be installed. At the System Configuration Check step of the wizard, the setup wizard checks if the required software is installed on the machine. If some of the required components are missing, the setup will try to install them automatically. At this step of the wizard, you can choose a database engine for the Veeam Backup and Replication Configuration database. If you do not prepare a database engine in advance, Veeam Backup and Replication will automatically install PostgreSQL locally. Configuration check step of the wizard, the setup checks the Veeam Backup and Replication configuration. Information about the issues can be viewed and copied to the clipboard. While you can continue the installation and address issues later, it's recommended you address prior to continuing. At this step of the wizard, you can customize port number values that will be used for communication between backup infrastructure components. At this step you can review the install settings. Additionally, you can specify if you want Veeam backup and replication to check for product updates automatically. Setup will now install the Veeam backup and replication components. This may take a few minutes. We'll add a virtual infrastructure server hosting virtual machines to be protected by Veeam. You can add vCenter servers and ESXi hosts. It is recommended that you add the v Let's specify the IP address of our VMware server. Now we'll specify admin credentials and select a security certificate. Now we're ready to protect VMs on this virtual environment. We'll add a virtual infrastructure server hosting virtual machines to be protected by You can add vCenter servers and ESXi hosts. It is recommended that you add the v Let's specify the IP address of our VMware server. Now we'll specify admin credentials and select a security certificate. Now we're ready to protect VMs on this virtual environment. We'll choose to create a VMware backup proxy. This arch Once you've selected the proxy VM, there are some options. Select a transport mode is a method that is used by the Veeam data mover to retrieve VM data from the source and write VM data to the target. Let's explore the traffic rules that can be configured. These rules help you throttle and encrypt traffic transferred between backup infrastructure components.
storage location where v many types of storage can be used as a backup repository we're going to add an smb share Depending on the type of repository you may be asked for credentials and configuration information. We'll need to specify shared folder settings for the SMB sh Let's take a look at the advanced repository settings. Here you'll select options that best support the repository storage you've selected. Here you'll specify the mount server which will be used for file level and application items restores, the folder to be used for write cache, and whether Veeam vPower NFS service will be used. Now we're ready to use our SMB backup repository. Job for a virtual machine hosted in a VMware environment. Select the necessary VMs or VM. Before continuing, here's where you can select. Here you can specify backup proxies, backup repositories, retention policies. Let here we can configure long-term retention policies known as GFS. Let's explore the advanced backup settings that can be configured and saved as defaults here. You can select incremental or reverse incremental modes and opt to create. Here we can specify health check settings. Here we can configure storage settings including data reduction, compression and optimization, and backup. And this is where you will enter notification settings. You can opt to use global settings or customize for certain jobs depending on your reporting requirement. Next we can edit change block tracking settings or enable VMware tool quiescence which will freeze the file system of the processed VMs during backup. If the data resides on a storage supporting snapshots you can specify whether Veeam will backup from storage snapshots. This reduces the impact of jobs and improves RPO. Finally, here you may specify custom scripts to execute before and after the backup job. You may also elect to specify a secondary target for the job. This is where we'll be configuring guest processing. You can specify a guest interaction proxy. And first we'll select the VM that we wish to create transactionally consistent backups of. Then we'll click edit to enter specific. Click the appropriate application tab to define application aware settings. We can exclude specific files and folders on the VM guest OS. Finally, if you're backing up apps lacking VSS support you can specify custom pre-freeze and post-thaw scripts. Let's check out our indexing options. Here you're able to specify the indexing scope with environment variables. Since we're interacting with the host, we'll add guest OS credentials. Here you will enter backup schedule details specifying a frequency that meets RPO requirements, determines when to retry, and the window of operation. Let's edit the backup window.